What's up insiders? My name is Maddie and I am the global content strategist for YouTube Shorts. Today I'm really excited to talk to you about our beta expansion to the US. We'll talk about what shorts are, why we created them, and how to get started. Let's get into it. Starting off with what shorts are. Shorts are actually any vertical video 60 seconds or less in length, and you can upload shorts by following the standard upload flow on mobile, desktop, or your preferred device. We recommend that you use hashtag shorts in the title or description to help with discovery. So why shorts? You might be wondering. I have an answer for you. Every year we see an increasing number of people coming to YouTube looking to create, and we want to make it easier for them to do so. We want to enable creation while empowering discovery for both new creators and our existing creator base. By releasing our creation tools, we're making mobile creation lightweight, fast, fun, and easy. Once you have access to the creation tools, just simply go to your YouTube mobile app, click the plus icon in the middle of your bottom bar, and it should pull up the Shorts camera. Now within the Shorts camera, you can shoot and edit content up to 15 seconds in length. Some of these tools right now include things like adjusting speed, adding text, and adding music from our new expanded audio library. And this is just the beginning, so more to come on creation over the next few months. Another question we see a lot is, where do I find shorts? How can I view them? Shorts actually have a presence across device. You can find them on the homepage, subscription tab, watch next, and on channel. Once you've tapped into the shorts experience, you can enjoy more short form content by swiping up and down. For those of you that already have a channel, we hear a lot about starting a second one. And the truth is, where you post your shorts content is completely up to you. It's our goal to make it a cohesive experience for those looking to upload both long and short form content onto their channel. And one way that we're doing that is by adding a short shelf on the channel page that you can opt into to organize your short form content a little bit better. Also changing notifications and only notifying subscribers that have expressed interest in your shorts content rather than every time you upload a short. So then what it really comes down to is your creative vision and your understanding of your audience. For example, if you're a dance creator looking to make shorts on cooking, it might make sense for you to make a second channel, but by no means do you have to. If you're looking to stay up to date on all things shorts, we have created the Shorts Report, which is a twice monthly infographic on the community forum. You can subscribe to get email notified every time we post. That includes everything from creator and content spotlights to strategies for shorts to product features and answers to your most frequently asked questions. I'll leave a link for that down below in the description. We hope you are just as excited as we are about this rollout, and if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, definitely leave that in the comment section down below. From the creators of YouTube to the YouTube creators, keep it real.